budget concerns of the Boston Public Schools. Today, the system's long-term financial committee released a report highlighting 10 so-called big ideas that need to be discussed to achieve fiscal stability. And some of them are hot potatoes, including school closures, reduction in bus service, teacher pay, and special ed services, all highlighted as areas where change could save real money. This report comes as the system faces financial challenges providing basic services on all levels, like libraries. As Tina Martin reports, more than half the schools don't even have one, and those which do often don't have librarians. Yeah, come down here and do the big G's. Reading time at Tijuana Slade's Roxbury home is something she takes seriously. That reading is a must. It's a must. She takes her two kids to the public library weekly, and that's the only one they see because their school doesn't have a working library. They have a library, they just don't have access. Slade says her kids, who are in the fourth and sixth grade at the Curly K-8 through in Jamaica Plain, haven't been able to use the school library in years because there's no one to manage it. The school has a library. Um, they're just getting a librarian this year. 73 schools in Boston out of 126 do not have a working library. It's something Boston Public Schools says it's trying to change. They sent a statement that reads in part, in September, the Boston School Committee approved the BPS Library Services Strategic Plan, which outlines priorities to provide each student with equitable access to central learning commons and a library at their school by 2021. Part of the plan calls for 15 libraries to be added by next May. That's the only paper you have, Alarm? I'm incredibly worried about the fact that, in fact, it's the younger students that are not having access because um, they're not being sort of trained up into the idea of even going to a library. Melanie Kimball, an associate professor of library and information science at Simmons College, believes libraries and librarians are a crucial part of a student's formative years. First of all, everything is not on, on Google. Um, and even if it was, you'd still need someone to teach teach you how to be discerning about what you're using. Librarians are the people who are going to teach children to not only to research, but to analyze and synthesize the information that they find. Tijuana Slade says the school department needs to follow through with its plan. If they're not, if they're not learning how to read at home in school, how are they going to pass school to do something with themselves later? And that's a big, a big problem. It's a depressing story. Hi, Tina. Hi. So 73 out of 126, I think that's the number, without libraries. Is that the end of the story? It's not the end of the story. The Curly, sto the curly School that you just saw, Jim, uh, is one of the schools that is not listed in the 73. They have a library, but no librarian. They actually, you just heard mom say they just got a librarian. So uh, it's not just the 73. It's what's going on with the other 53. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, of the other 53, only 25 of them are elementary schools. So to that professor's point, uh, these young kids are not having access to libraries. Because that's when you build school. your habits about Correct. schools and studying. Correct. And all. Oh my. So Correct. is this just a Boston only problem, or does it extend beyond the city's borders? It's statewide. Um, and talking with the professors at Simmons, they have a real concern statewide. It's not just Boston. Although it's uh, interesting that many of these schools happen to be in the inner cities of Boston, um, but it's not just Boston. And it's suburbs and it's statewide. Tina, it's great you're sounding the alarm. Thanks so much, Tina Martin. You bet. Appreciate it.